with a stick. Got it to Lee in the high slot. Right point Calabrese. Mayday! A quick shot. Rebound. He's gone! Despite the ups and downs, twists and turns of this season, the Irish Icers have stuck together and are ready to respond in the opening round of the CCHA playoffs. You know, surprisingly, they, they've, they've been pretty strong. I mean, one thing about, I mean, they are a little bit younger than a normal team with so many underclassmen, but, you know, I think we've gotten good leadership, and I think that the youth and, you know, the enthusiasm of the group has is, is kept them together. You know, we've definitely had an inconsistent season, and I think we've had highs and lows, but I think the best thing for us right now is that we were able to end our regular season on relative highs, I think. The eighth seed Irish will host the ninth seed Ohio State in a best of three series, and Notre Dame feels back on track after last weekend. The team netted four goals after scoring only six in the month of February. Getting a win against Michigan State was, was big for us. I think even though we lost Saturday night, we played pretty well, and, uh, and I think we're going to take a lot of positives from that weekend into this new playoff season and, and you know bring a lot of energy and kind of forget the past and just focus on the future. You know, I think it's about making sure that, you know, guys feel good about what they accomplished maybe last weekend, you know, in a lot of different positions, not just the guys that are scoring goals. But, you know, I think that as we, you know, move forward here, we're going to need to get production from guys like Lee and Tynan, you know, Mayday, Shan, uh, Costello. I mean, we've got a number of guys that have the potential to score. It's just a matter of them getting the confidence and, and playing with that intensity around the net. We just uh, need to get confidence um, offensively, defensively, just get our confidence back because obviously we struggled on the stretch and uh, that's a big thing for us coming uh, in the playoffs. The Buckeye season almost mirrors Notre Dame's. After a hot start, OSU has only one victory since January 1st, but the home team knows how dangerous their opponent could be. We recognize that they're a really young team and I think kind of reminds us of last year. I think, you know, they've had a lot of inconsistencies and learning experiences. So facing a team that's been down, I think, you know, we kind of need to worry about that because that means they're going to do anything they can to get out of that slump and, you know, we got to bring our best. They remind me a lot of our team last year, a younger team, uh, play with a lot of emotion and uh, we just got to have poise and uh, be calm, cool, collected out there and, and we know how good we can be and we just got to play that way. The key for an Irish victory could be a fast start. In 36 games, the Irish are 10-4-2 when scoring the first goal. Well, I think we have to have a strong start. I think we know we play our best hockey when we come out strong and get a lead and then play with the lead. And I think against the team, maybe that it doesn't have a lot of confidence. I think that might be one of the best strategies. Trying to generate scoring chances uh, against teams that are going to be really tough defensively, good goaltenders, is really important. So you got to take advantage of the opportunities you get, whether it's off the rush or it's off face-offs on the power play, um, off transition. We have to try to take advantage of every one of those opportunities as they come come to us. Right side, a feed to wall run. Oh, diving save, summer eighth. He got it with his stick. I, I really think it's about us, how we have to play, regardless of who the opponent is. It's going to be more about how we play. Um, and, and we have to play at a high, high level, and it's not just for one period or one game. It's going to have to be over you know, a two-game series. We have to win two games in order to move forward. For UND.com, I'm Ryan Camden.